again, this is Jonathan, and in today's video, we are going to look at how to do chroma key in OpenShot Video Editor. And for those who don't know, chroma key is basically the process of erasing a certain color or keying out a certain color from a video. So most commonly seen on things like green screens, blue screens, um, etc. So it's a very popular, um, simple effect to do in OpenShot. So I'm going to just kind of run through the process very quickly. So earlier today, I filmed my new kitten, Tangers, on a green background. So he will be our subject. And I have a photo of my backyard, um, some flowers that we're going to put behind him. So simple enough. So we'll start by dragging Tanger down onto the timeline. And I will then take the background picture and put it on the layer below him and make it about the same size. So what we need to do now is tell OpenShot to erase the green color, which will show whatever's below it, it happens to be this picture. Um, so we'll switch to the effects tab and drag the chroma key effect onto the Tanger video. And you will notice a small um, effect icon which is the first letter of the effect, like chroma key is C. Um, so there's a little green C here. Um, so if you click that, it will bring up the um, chroma key settings, which in this case, the two we care about is key color and fuzz. So let's we'll start by double clicking the black key color and move this out of our way a bit. And there's a button here that says pick screen color. So click that and then move over to your video and select whichever color you want to key out. So I'm going to pick the green and say OK. Now one thing that you'll notice is it doesn't know how much of the green to erase. So we need to go adjust that by adjusting the fuzz. And it's also important to note uh, where the, the red playhead is when you do this. So I recommend moving it to the very beginning um, of your video and making sure that your chroma key effect is selected. So once you've moved the red playhead to the beginning and selected chroma key, um, double click on that fuzz setting and and this takes a little trial and error, but I'm going to type in a number and this is basically um, a number that's used to calculate how similar this green color is to the color in the video. So if, if you have a lower number for example, 50, you'll notice it doesn't match as much of the green. And if you increase this number to say 200, it might um, take too much. Let me try 300. It, so it thinks that even part of the cat is green. So you kind of have to um, play with this number and find the right, uh, the sweet spot for whatever your particular lighting is. Um, in this case, 180 doesn't do great, but it gets the job done for the moment. Um, so right away you can see um, that we basically have the cat and the color is mostly keyed out um, and it's showing through our background picture. So that's fun. Um, so one thing that um, you will probably want to do if you can't, if, especially if you have more than one shade of green or of blue or whatever color, um, you can actually apply more than one chroma key effect. And so, for example, there's some dark green there, um, and even some green around his, his paws here. So if we drag another chroma key effect and select that new effect, go through the same few steps, um, we can select whatever color did not get keyed out. So I'm going to kind of pick a color in between. And then adjust this color this number a bit. So you can see we've erased more of the colors and maybe we need to go a little bigger than that. 120. So yeah, um, so that erased uh, a lot more of the green. Now that little cat, <laughs> the little red dot is kind of messing things up. Um, so in, in this case you can see we're actually erasing part of the cat's face. Um, so this takes a little bit of, uh, of, you have to kind of dial it in for your particular video. So obviously my new effect has too high of a, um, too high of a color there. So, so I will take it back down a notch and maybe we'll say 
um, 80 on this new color. Um, so this is the, the basic process when you're green screening. So you can see we've erased that. Now if we wanted to, now this is getting a little silly, but we can drop a third chroma key, select it, go through the same basic process again, pick that one green color that keeps appearing, um, adjust this, let's say 30, and that's getting us a lot closer. So yeah, that looks a lot better. Um, so through this through this chroma key process, um, you can you can essentially trial and error your way through it um, by guessing different fuzz factors. Um, and and the better you light your scene in the, in the beginning, you know the the more consistent of a color you have, the better. So in my case, um, I got it lit as good as I could light it with a um, a cheap lighting kit. And then. From there, you can do the rest in OpenShot by just adding one, two, or apparently three chroma key effects um, to pull out the color, and, um, and that looks pretty good. That's not near as noticeable. The cat's face is still there, which is fun. Um, so there you have it. Um, an easy effect to do, especially if you're um, recording yourself in front of a green screen. The, the most important suggestion, again, is to light your scene where you don't have shadows behind your head. So that means kind of offset lighting and having more than one light source. Um, and then take things into open shot and just know that you can add more than one chroma key effect. Um, you can even keyframe the fuzz factor over time. So a good example is maybe, maybe you have um, a light that's shifting throughout a video, right? It's getting brighter and brighter and the background is slowly changing color you can actually adjust the fuzz and adjust the key, the different colors um, over time to make sure it, you know, it stays in the sweet spot. So I hope you enjoyed that video on chroma key and videos of my cat chasing a laser pointer. Um, so I will see you in the next video. Go to the right more.